Hi YouTube, this is Rose and this video is Apostle Laura Lee says God is free to strike dead any of you. Let's check it out. First we're going to go to her Facebook. This was posted just a few hours ago. I spent years just being nice. I'd like to find one person that could testify to that. And you pack of Pharisees out there and we all know who we are. And any single one of you who doesn't want to receive a testimony of salvation and calling has the same problem. So anybody who does not receive her testimony of uh, her seeing Jesus Christ face to face at, the, at three years old and uh, made her an apostle in the corridors of heaven and she's, oh, it's, a, I don't know how long the story is and what she's added to it or taken away. Y'all just play the demonic game of projecting your own evil suspicions and your demonic jealousy in the spirit of the devil. <laughs> it's going to be hard for me not to do this video laughing, but uh, check this out. She believes that we're jealous of her. I'm here to state for a fact that there is not one part of your life, and none of it, spirit, mind, body, that I envy in the spirit of the devil. Unto me. And I was shocked that Christians could be so nasty and unbiblical, but you're just full of the devil, and just oh, and just full of yourselves and your own sin and pride. She talks to her children exactly the same way. I have a video if anybody wants to check it out of the letter she wrote to her daughter when she was uh, put in a mental institution by her family for very good reason, which she escaped against court orders going and continuing and I have rounded a corner with you liars who try to blame your viciousness on Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit at exclamation okay so rounded a corner with you liars that I don't understand she repeats herself in this but let's continue uh, blame your viciousness on Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit at exclamation point interesting nice going immeasurable IQ genius <laughs> Jesus Christ sent me that is an abomination that time that's when you say that God sent you and he didn't look out look out woman looking into my eyes at three years old no he didn't uh, she claims that she went to heaven at three years old no when no man has gone to heaven and she claims she's read the Bible thousands of times and I I'm really doubting she's even read it once she's get stuck on just a few scriptures that's it anyways continuing so and he doesn't back you one bit and your evil has nothing to do with him well I beg to differ Jesus Christ is with me and the Holy Spirit is with me or I should say miracles and wonders uh, happen in my life and he answers my prayers I'm going to get re baptized I've decided anyways continuing it's straight from the pits of hell and you are not the kind of people who examine your own hearts and the devil would not con and the devil you would not control well, that doesn't make any sense you would not control the devil and the evil inside you that you would not control well it's done with its run <laughs> well it's done with its run with a burger on a bun okay I've rounded the corner and God is free to strike dead any of you that he feels need to strike dead to release this move. Woo! Could you imagine if this woman had any power <laughs> even to, to do anything? I mean, oh, now I know why God keeps her broke and unemployed and crazy because she's dangerous okay I've got full manifest glory ready to roll and the Holy Spirit will strike dead multitudes before me oh she's just been so nice in the past I testify to you people and now I let God deal with you direct revival to some judgment to others that's right you're gonna have judgment the sword is going to turn loose. Oh, she's been talking about that sword for almost a year now. That is just too hilarious. This gets so funny. She gets more mad and angry, and it just gets funnier. 
this is hard to stay serious during this investigation and expose of this false prophet, false doctrine, dangerous woman to the church who wants your money. Continuing, how dare you presume without receiving a direct commission from the Jesus from Jesus Christ as an apostle? How dare you presume to lead the church? Who is presuming to lead any church? Jesus Christ is the head of the church and stand in the way of an apostle God sent. How are we standing in with your way, lady? And if you had the power of God, who stands in the way of God? <laughs> wow, you need to read your Bible. 50 million babies have died while you play church. So these are the things that goes on in this psychopath, uh, antisocial, narcissistic Jezebel's head. Insanity. Okay, let's continue. Revelations 2, verse 20. Notwithstanding, I have a few things against thee, because thou sufferest that woman Jezebel. That means to let be, to, to let her do what she, she will. When we allow Jezebel and we suffer her to let her do what she will, well, I will not. Notwithstanding, I have a few things against thee, because thou sufferest that woman Jezebel, which calleth herself a prophetess, to teach and to seduce my servants to commit fornication and to eat things sacrificed unto idols. And I gave her space to repent of her fornication, and she repent not. Behold, I will cast her into bed, and them that commit adultery with her into great tribulation, except they repent of their deeds. Amen. And I will kill her children with death. And all the churches shall know that I am he which searches the, re and the reins and the hearts. And I will give unto every one of you according to your works. Revelations 22 verse 18. For I testify unto you every man that heareth the word of the prophecy of this book. If any man shall add unto these things. God shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. And if any man shall take away from the words of this book, of this prophecy, God shall take away his part out of the book of life and out of the holy city and from the things which are written in this book. Okay, so now we will be listening to a video that Laura posted uh, after she's doing this uh, Facebook rant. So this has also been within the last uh, 24 hours. Uh, that people try to rob my crown and they try to put me down about being an apostle. The pronunciation is apostle. And this is where she's, I'm proving that in her own words, she believes everybody's jealous of her. <laughs> There's nothing to be jealous of that woman. Ugh, she's creepy. And the apostle of the end time move, uh, because the, really they're competing with me, saying I'm the greatest, you're not anything. And really they're rising up in the flesh. That is just, uh, right there shows her level of um, madness that she, she makes these things up. None of us have ever said we're the greatest. Nobody, not uh, Jim, Sean, her daughter, uh, Kim, her neighbor, uh, Lori, Ken's wife, the man that she was stalk she's been stalking for 26 years up until last year because she's been exposed. She had to stop. Uh, felony stalking. That's prison time, Laura. So she don't do that no more. Amongst other th criminal activities that she was doing. And so uh, I lost my train of thought. Let's continue. And they're the ones who are in the Roman Catholic Antichrist spirit because I am sent by God and the spiritual thing would be to receive me. Just let me do my work. Now she's, once again, in her own words, she's claiming that she was sent by God. And she's got this thing about the Roman Catholic Church. It, it's just so freaky. Maybe she's jealous of the Pope because <laughs> he, he gets a nice house and a nice anything he wants. Oh, that guy's a creep. And let's rise. That's how we're going to get uh, to goal. <clears throat> C 
see, in order for this to happen, in her own words, she is stating that you have to read her books, you have to get in order, you have to accept her office, apostleship. Oh, there's all kinds of requirements. And none of the apostles in the Bible had requirements. And uniting in the move and supporting this ministry. For, for miracles and wonders and speaking in tongues and healing. They didn't have requirements. With prayer, uh, with standing with me, with appreciating the work that I've done, you know, Jesus could do no mighty work in a certain place because the people did not receive him. See, she loves to compare herself to Jesus Christ. Who compares himself to God? This woman is sick, and she's in a lot of trouble. And uh, she's going to answer to God. And the workman's worthy of his hire, and if people receive, they should be giving financial support. There you go. She wants money for the books that she wrote, her babblings that she spewed onto paper and onto a video. And uh, she wants dough. Somehow, uh, because there's no tithing in the Church of Philadelphia, and I don't organize it because that's not how the Church of Philadelphia is, uh, people that receive from me often don't realize, oh, I need to give. She's not making any money. <laughs> she just got uh, audited and uh, demonetized on YouTube because a complaint was filed against her, and they looked into it. Keep it up, Laura. People don't respond to it right, and they don't get an order, and they don't do what they should be doing. They won't do it because they're stuck in the institutional spirit and then they falsely throw that at me like, oh, you're just proud, you're this, you're that, you're this, that, and the other. Uh, no, I, I actually have produced the work uh, that is the sign of my apostleship. How dare we not believe she's Mary reincarnated, or she likes to call it incarnated. <laughs> How dare we not believe that Mary was taken up bodily to heaven and never died, which is not in the Bible? Oh, my goodness. It was the revelation that when people receive it and come to order and receive me, uh, then the power releases. That is never going to happen, ever, Laura, ever. And it would be such a blessing if more people would read my work. Not because of the devil, but because you're a liar. And you're the devil's servant. And, you know, be led of the spirit in relation to me. So I've been kind of talking about that today. And I just, all of that. She wants everybody to be nice to her. Yet she's been horrid to everybody in her past, her entire life. That came to me. From two-year-old children to her own children. It, it just doesn't stop. The stories don't end. Because that's the bottom line. It's the spirit of Antichrist, which is Roman Catholicism. So if you don't believe her, you're the Antichrist spirit. If you don't believe she's Mary, if you don't believe she's the woman, the wonder in heaven from Revelations 12, if you don't believe that God sent her as an apostle of the end time move to pour out this uh, end time spirit, and uh, all people will die and burn at her feet that don't receive her. Okay, you're the Antichrist. Right, Laura. Nobody believes you. Versus the Holy Spirit. Except for these people that gave her a thumbs up. So most of those are probably mock channels. And there might be uh, less than a handful of people that pity her or uh, believe her garbage because they just don't know the truth. Uh, it's, uh, it's Antichrist. But she won't ever send them to my channel or tell, make any names or do any of that. She just is a coward to the very end. A coward. Versus Jesus Christ. And I'm going to prove it in this video. I know it's a little long, but it's worth it. And I was saying that, you know, when God was going to get the people out of Egypt, they didn't go, well, we're going to leave Egypt, you know, uh, and pretend that God didn't send Moses. Korah did. He was in rebellion. But even though God himself delivered Israel from Egypt and God himself manifested in a cloud of glory and a pillar of fire, he didn't do that without human agency. He didn't do that without sending an office holder. He sent Moses. And Moses, when he sent Moses, 
Moses did a lot. You've done zero. You've babbled some books out. He first appeared to Moses in the burning bush, then sent Moses. Uh, that is how God works. He will work through human agency as long as the body of Christ is on earth. So I guess nothing, there will be no nothing until she explodes. <laughs> Explode, Laura, go ahead. And this concept that people have of, I'm just going to, I'm just going to sit here and we're just going to go nowhere. And then all of a sudden, uh, Jesus is going to come and we're going to be raptured out of here. Oh, is that the sweetest voice ever? Could you imagine growing up having to listen to that voice? And the things that come out of this woman's mouth, the abomination that pours out of this mouth on a constant basis. Sean says she don't sleep much. And Kim, her neighbor, says she moves around. Oh, my goodness. Scary. Well, no. Uh, Jesus bodily returns on the last day. And it can only be the spirit of witchcraft and false teachers out there and Christians being institutionally minded where they don't just stop and think, when does Jesus bodily return? What does the Bible say? See, they're operating on hearsay. Why don't you get the Bible, Laura, and, and say what the Bible says, but you never do. You just read the Bible like you're cursing. It's, it's disgusting. Instead of what the Bible says. The Bible is very clear. The bodily return of Jesus Christ is on the last day, and it's Judgment Day. And then that's it. Human history is over. Human history is over. So it's the last day after the thousand years. That See, she's saying that Jesus doesn't come till after the thousand years. Well, if I recall, doesn't it say in Revelations that we, he will reign, we will reign with Christ for a thousand years? You need to read your Bible, woman. The bodily return of Jesus is. And I don't even have that in front of me, but I should before I quote it. But I'm sure uh, somebody could put that in the comments for us. And, you know, when Jesus said, I will, I will come to you, he sent the Holy Spirit. People should be expecting outpouring of the Holy Spirit, not the bodily return of Jesus Christ. God has already given us the gift of the Holy Spirit. This is just twisted. For, for the end of days, uh, for the church before Great Tribulation. When it's the time of Great Tribulation, the latter three and a half years, uh, does, G does God himself send plagues and wrath on the 666B system? No, because he will always use human agency. He will always send office holders until an age ends and so he sends the two witnesses the two witnesses are prophecy it's in the bible laura you're not you are not a bible figure there's nowhere in the bible that it says god is going to send a woman a female apostle the incarnation of mary you are so sick i can't even believe i mean do you ever look in the mirror ever and why people aren't expecting an end time apostle, they're completely blind. It's nowhere in the scriptures that claims that God is going to send a woman. None of this. None of the things that you are saying. My work is right there present. And people, this rapture doc. Her work of, uh, oh my gosh, her work is just a mess. It is the lost story. It has caused people to forsake the word of God. They don't feel like they need to study the Bible anymore. Who doesn't feel like they need to study the Bible? Uh, raise your hands. Okay, anybody's got their hands raised? You need to study the Word every day. It, it's the Word of God. It's the bread of life. It feeds your spirit. We all know that, Laura. They don't feel like there's any value in the Word of God. They, they're just like, well, I don't have to study the Bible because Jesus is just going to come and get me. Oh, gosh, her voice is so, oh, my goodness. Uh, okay, continuing. That's, that's what's going to happen. Jesus is, is coming, and he's going to come and get me, so I don't have to study the Bible. Is that what everybody thinks? Uh, hey, everybody out there, raise your hands. If anybody thinks Jesus is going to come and get you, and you don't have to read the Bible. I guess there's some people that go to church and don't read the Bible. I guess there's a lot of Christians that are that are uh, lukewarm, 
And in the Bible, it talks about what's going to happen to those that are lukewarm. Continuing. Um, that's ridiculous. <clears throat> but this is what you're ridiculous. This rapture doctrine does, where Christians are no longer practicing simple Christian disciplines. They don't. They're dumbed down. They're, you're dumb dumb. The rapture doctrine has really dumbed people down. You're dumb dumb. It's made them lazy. It's made them ignorant, and they've left the word of God. You're lazy. You don't work. You work. You just live off of others. Are you serious? Because they feel like they don't have to study the Bible. I don't have to study the Bible. I don't have to know sound doctrine. I'm just waiting for Jesus. Okay. Wow. Okay, well, you know, Paul said that in the last days, because of fables, people would have itching ears and would no longer endure sound doctrine. But her being Mary, mother of Jesus, the wonder in heaven, quiet please, the wonder in heaven, that's not a fable? Wow. Get the straight jacket, quick. Oh no, get the net. This um, idea that Jesus is going to bodily return, instead of having an end time move of the Spirit, and the Holy Spirit being poured out. Um, Where in the Bible does it say that? that Nowhere. You are a fable. It's very clearly a fable. There, Your brain is a living fable. Jesus is coming by His Spirit by sending the Holy Spirit. When there is outpouring of the Holy Spirit on the day of Pentecost, that was Jesus coming, sending the Holy Spirit, because the Lord our God is one. And so... It, See, even devils know God is one. Is Jesus coming? Yes, in outpouring of the Holy Spirit, which means you need to apply yourself to the Word of God and receive apostolic ministry of the end time move and get serious about Bible study and prayer. And this is a fable that gives people itching ears where they will not endure sound doctrine. But she won't listen to any of what the Bible says. There's no such thing as a woman apostle, preacher, or teacher. Because they don't want to read the Bible and pray. And we will find out right after this, this next uh, video that I'm going to share will prove. They go out. Why there should be no women preachers and teachers, apostles. I don't need to read the Bible and pray. I don't need any revelation from the Word of God. I don't need an apostle. We don't need an end time move of the Spirit that comes from revelation of the Word of God. I'm just going to get a goosebump, and I'm and Jesus is going to come, and I'm getting I'm going on the rapture taxi. Well, then how has this doctrine produced good fruit in your life when you have turned your ears from sound doctrine? Sound doctrine is the Holy Scriptures. Not this crap. Look at this. Angels on earth made human. Please. Where does she come up with this? It's nowhere in the Bible. She pulls out scripture and tells you on Revelations 12 and the wonder in heaven. And that's me. And that's where the move of the spirit happens. And it's nowhere in the Bible. You're loony. And your itching ears will not endure sound doctrine. That doctrine then is not bearing good fruit. God bless you. Oh, right. Whatever, lady. Freak. Continuing. Okay, now we're going to listen to an amazing example of somebody who stands on the Word of God and has courage and does not back down, unlike Laura, who won't even come out of her sh uh, creepy shack uh, in LJ, Georgia, in the pit that she, that's located on the foothills, which she calls the Appalachian Mountains. Uh, sorry, foothills are not mountains. Amen. When you speak against any of the prophets or any of the apostles, you are not speaking against the men. That's right. You're speaking against God that sent the men. That's right. Don't See, when Laura says that God sent her, <laughs> you're in trouble. Do you remember Ananias and Sapphire? When they kept back part of the price after they sold the land, Amen. Uh, they thought they lied to Peter. That's right. Oh, yeah, they thought they lied to Peter. That's right. But the apostle straightened them out and asked him, why have you lied? Have you, lied? you have not lied unto men. Mm -hmm. Thank God, but you have lied unto, the, unto God. And uh, this man has also stated that that is the scriptures that all these uh, church leaders like to use so that they can convince 
their uh, followers to give them money, to give them everything they have, and to lay it at their feet. That's not going to happen, Laura, even though I know you've told your daughter all the whole time she was growing up. You were going to speak in large coliseums and people were going to lay money at your feet. Wrong. Let them know you lied to the Holy Ghost. Let me you can't even get two cents a click anymore. I tell you, because I've been called all kind of names all across the board. Let me tell you, viewers, and you that are here. Now, Laura talks constantly about her persecution. Let's listen to what this man has to say about when he is persecuted. I'm not phased. No. I'm not moved. No, no. That man, they call me SOB, MF, and uh, Antichrist, and uh, they call me all type of things. Pastor Jennings, don't break a sweat Amen. over anything you said, because Amen. when the smoke clear, it's heaven or hell for you. That's that's right, and that's why I'm not mad at Laura at all anymore, and I'm grateful for listening to this man's teachings, because you know what? It's heaven or hell for you, Laura. And we all know if you don't repent from what you are doing, you're going straight to hell, Jezebel. Get mad if you like. I don't mind. It's Me neither. heaven or hell for you. Get as mad as you want, Laura. Say all the vicious, cruel things you want, woman. But I'll tell you what, between me and Jim, Sean, Nicole, your daughter, your neighbor Kim, uh, Lori, Ken's wife, the man you've been stalking for over 26 years, and many more that have come forward through comments and emails. You're not doing your dirty deeds no more, and you've been exposed, and you will be rooted out by the, hewed out by the root. Hard head, stubborn, arrogant, self-righteous, synagogue goer, moss worshiper, church attendee. It's heaven or hell for you. That's right. Now we're living in a time now that men have itching ears. itching ears. That's right. They have turned away their ears mm -hmm. from the truth. From the truth. And uh, have turned mm -hmm. to fables. That's right. What do you mean itching ears? The preachers are not telling people what they need to hear. No. Preachers are telling people what they want to hear. And what has Laura been telling people? Gold, gold, apocalypse now, apocalypse now. All these great things are going to happen and wonderful things. Oh, yeah, itchy ears, yeah. Dream on, freaks. I'm not sent to tell nobody. And none of it is in the Bible. What you want to hear. All right, let's work on the itchy near devils. In the book of 2 Timothy. 2 Timothy, Chapter follow four. me in your Bible, follow me in your Bible. Amen. See what he said? Follow me in your Bible. What do they have in their hands? Bibles. They are a Bible-based uh, church. All right. Second Timothy chapter 4, and we'll start at verse 1. All right. I charge thee. I charge thee. Before God. Before God. And the Lord Jesus Christ, who shall judge the quick and the dead. Yes. And his appearing and his kingdom. You know, the Bible said they turn their ears away from the truth. For the time will come. They turn away and they believe fables. Well, mm -hmm. fables interest people. Right. Truth. Don't interest many people. That's right. When you have the word right and you understand it right, your doctrine will be right. That's right. See, Laura, if you had the word right, your doctrine would be right. You wouldn't have a doctrine. You would read the Bible and know that women are not to be preachers, teachers, pastors, bishops, none of it. That's why we take our time and labor and word and doctrine so the people of God don't be led the wrong direction. That's right. Let me tell you something, viewers, and you that are here. This is judgment work. Yes, it is. You're going to be judged That's right. by what you do right here. That's right. The Bible says judge yourselves that ye be not judged. 
Like we said last night, you ain't got no time to worry about nobody but no. you. That's it. Yeah. That's right. Don't you know how hard it is to keep your own self out of hell? That's right. And you worrying about that brother or that sister. Oh, no. Well, we Peter, must... Peter said, save who? Save who? Yourself. Glory to God. All right, what did Paul tell Timothy? For the time will come. Wait when... a minute. Mm -hmm. The time will come. Well, back then, he said the time will come. Well, I can say the time has came. That's right. Amen. That's right. That's right. When they will not endure sound doctrine. Can't take it. Can't take it. You can't take it, Laura. You can't take the word of God because it's truth. Can't take it. You can't take it. You mean, you too rough. You call me whatever you like. I got a sound gospel. And I'm so glad God made me a sound preacher. You call me whatever you like. I stand on the word of God. No flexibility. That's right. When it comes to that word of God, I am not flexing to the left. I'm not flexing to the right. To keep a member or to get one. See, Laura, he ain't worried about members. That's all you talk about is your people that follow you and people that don't follow you. You are a liar. Hey Amen. Because God's word ain't going to change. That's right. Nobody can offer me anything Wonderful. at any time. Amen. But I'm going to accept you over what God said. That's they can't take it. They can't take That's sound right. doctrine. That's why they run to sugar daddy preachers. Yeah. Preachers that love to just entertain you and tell you what you want to hear and That's tell right. you what you like to hear. Because mm -hmm. preachers, false prophets don't like to be in confrontation with nobody. No. Did you hear that? False prophets don't like to be in competition with anybody, do they, Laura? That's all you talk about is everybody is jealous of you. Everybody wants to be greater than you. You just don't <laughs> see it, but everybody else does. I don't mind being in confrontation with anybody and everybody. That's right. When I stand on that word of God, I fight the gates of hell. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Don't you hear what the apostle said? The apostle said if an angel, mm -hmm. he was willing to fight angels. The apostle, the apostle, did you hear the way he pronounced it? Apostle said he was willing to fight angels. You're not even willing to face the people you make threats to. You make threats and, and make videos saying I'm a New World Order agent. And we all know what the New World Order stands for. So you call me a murderer and a child cannibal torturer. You're disgusting and you are going to burn in hell, woman. You are going to burn. So you can say whatever you want about me. I ain't going to worry about it one bit. Yeah. That's right. Oh, the apostle was willing to fight angels That's right. until he said, if an angel come from heaven mm -hmm. and preach any other gospel that differ from what we preach, let the angels be accursed. That man wasn't fearing no angels. Oh, no. You are preaching a different doctrine than the holy scriptures. You are a curse. He wasn't fearing men. As we said I before. don't fear angels right. and I don't fear men. Right. The only one I fear is God. Amen. Thank you so much, everybody, for your time. I just had to put this out there. Please comment. Let me know what you think. And this is to be continued. This is an exposed investigation on the false prophet, apostle, and teacher, imposter, Laura Lee Dykstra.